Our guest now is Dr. Christoph Fellman from the University of California, Berkeley, a state-of-the-art speaker here at ATC 2016. Welcome, doctor. Thank you. You just got off the podium and many people, they're buzzing about your speech. Talk about what you were speaking about up on stage today and the advancements in your field. So I was talking about CRISPR-Cas9 and the development of this technology, how it came from a bacterial immune system and how we sort of transformed it and many people in the field transformed it into a tool that is really transforming biology itself and has many applications for biomedicine and hopefully in the future for therapy and treatment of patients. Talk about the need for diversity amongst thought. You bring something to the table here discussing your field. Talk about the need for different medical opinions to get together and discuss their findings, their theories, their research. Yeah, I think this is a very nice conference and meeting that allows both the you know, fundamental biology and the more applied medicine to come together. And I think, like you mentioned, it's very important that we bring these different fields together to sort of get the expertise from the doctors that treat the patients, but also combine that with the new developments in fundamental research to sort of bring a new era, uh, new technologies, new developments into treatments for patients so that, that they can you know, benefit from that. It's an exciting time in your field. How fast is medical technology, medical research in your field, how fast is that evolving or changing? I think uh, it seems very fast. You know, it's changing very rapidly. It's at the biological level drastically changing how we can alter cell lines, how we can study genes, how we can study disease and better understand the mechanisms. Um, we always like to see when these things actually translate into medicine. Um, from an outsider perspective, sometimes this might seem like a very, very long time. It obviously comes with a lot of um, you know, very thorough research and testing that needs to be done at all stages, from cell lines to, to uh, bigger systems in the lab to, to eventually human trials. And so that does take a long time, but it's, it's very encouraging to see that some of these developments are happening and that some of these technologies actually make it uh, to the patient and to improvements of their lives. The link between genome engineering and transplantation, a very strong link, is that, is that correct? There's definitely a link, yeah. Um, in, there's a lot of immunology involved in transplantation in terms of rejection uh, of organs and, and we can address these questions with the technology and hopefully also sort of improve the ability to, to do these transplantation studies. Does it give you a lot of good satisfaction, Dr. Feldman, to be part of this group here at ATC 2016? A lot of people that were attending your speech were thrilled to be able to hear your knowledge. What does it mean for you to be able to share your findings with such a wide group of people? It's great to be here. I'm very glad you know, uh, to, to share some of my expertise and um, to hear how people see it being applied to the field here. Uh, that's very exciting. Very exciting indeed. Dr. Feldman, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks.